Today we're going to have a mental health moment with Marcus. I am Marcus. First of all, I want to like you say, if you're not, if you're new here, go ahead and like and subscribe. We're trying to get up to a thousand. We got about 700. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I, Marcus, person, I have been working in mental health for over 21 years. Come February, this February, I'll be 21 years. I've been working um, in the mental health uh, field uh, from prevention, detention, foster care. Um, I've worked in numerous mental health hospitals. I currently work at a mental health hospital right now. Um, I have very close family members who suffer from mental health issues. Um, I'm not saying that I know everything, but I do know a lot and I'm willing to learn. I'm just going to give you some of my stories, some of my uh, insight, some of my, just, just give you some things I think you could succeed to help you succeed in mental health. Um, and I will also want to learn from you as well. Uh, but today we're going to have stir time. To me, mental health is, uh, working in mental health is a very rewarding field. Um, it's also a dangerous field. Um, the main thing is um, control. I know what you're thinking not about controlling the patients. Um, the thing about it, the main thing about working in mental health is about controlling the milieu, okay? And the milieu is just the flow of your unit, the area that you're in. Now, to be able to control the milieu, you have to first, 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 first and foremost, be in control of yourself. You absolutely have to leave your problems at the door, leave your issues at the door. Um, understanding that you are here to help someone in a crisis. Every day I run a group, um, a community group in the morning. And one of the things I say is everybody here is in a crisis. Their crisis may not look like your crisis, but understanding that, that's going to help you get through the day. Again, everybody here is in a crisis. Their crisis may not look like your crisis, but understanding that, that's going to help you get through the day. Truthfully of the matter is, I feel like... Even the workers, we're in a crisis too because people will say, you got to be crazy to be working with crazy people. It could be any one of us. Something could happen tomorrow where I'm in a crisis. Something could, I mean, there's a storm going on right now. Um, and the, the thing about it is it's just about helping someone get through this moment because it's going to be moments. It's going to be, we all have ups and downs in life. Um, we all are human. We all go through life. We all have good times. We all have bad times. We all have mental health moments. So one thing I need to do, I need to know what we're going to call this little, little rendezvous we're doing here, this little talk, this little chat we're going to be doing. Is it going to be called mental health moments with Marcus, mental health Mondays? I don't know. I'm thinking mental health moments with Marcus, but if y'all have uh, a better uh, name for our little vibe we're going to have, go ahead and put it in the comment below. Somebody get back to you. It might not be me. It might be my wife, but somebody get back to you, and we're going to let you know. All right. So what I said was talking about being in control of yourself. Um, to be in control of yourself, you have to know your triggers. Know what's going to set you off. Know what's going to trigger you. Know what's going to take you to that point to where you can't help anybody anymore. Um, for me, um, the truth of the matter is it's, it's, it's feces and it's urine. I can deal with blood. I've dealt with death. I've dealt with a lot. Um, <laughs> but when it comes to feces and the urine, especially when it's being like thrown at you, uh, that's where, you know, I have to kind of find a, I have to tap out. That's what I have to do. And um, again, it's about knowing yourself. So tapping out is basically just let somebody else take control of the situation. Um, you don't have to be, you don't have to be the hero every time. You might not be the person that they 
have a rapport with. Um, a lot of times in mental health is uh, what they're doing lately. Um, they, they, they're adding in trauma-informed care, trauma-informed care. Um, so basically, whatever somebody might have went through, whatever they, and you understanding what their triggers are out there. So I can't give y'all everything tonight, but I'm going to give y'all some things, okay? But we're talking about being in control of yourself. If you see me, if you know me, I'm a pretty big dude. Um, I'm very strong. Um, I could hurt you if I needed to hurt you, especially if you were coming at my family or me. I do whatever and stop to make a nigga deceit. Whatever Eddie Murphy said, <laughs> that part. But um, there was a situation last night, me working overnight with the patient. Doing my rounds as usual. Caught the patient smoking in the room. Now the patient's upset with me. Uh, the patient is smaller than my oldest daughter. Very frail, very fragile person. Um, she spit at me. I, I didn't respond. She called me all type of names, this, that, and the other. I didn't respond. Mind you, this person is less than two feet away from me. Um, I, I also told her, look, if you touch me, you're going to jail. I'm not finna play with you tonight. You touch me, you're going to jail. She proceeds to reach out and touch me. I said, girl, leave me alone. I continued to move around. Then she found a cup and she said, I'm finna dash this piss on you. And she got the cup and she ran to the room. Like I say, I know what my triggers are. I can't deal with urine and I don't like feces, especially being thrown at me. So me, I ran in behind her. I grabbed, I go to grab the cup as I bend down. She scratched me all in my shit. I almost fucked up my handsome. Almost. At that time, anybody could respond in any type of way. Again, she's a very... She's about this tall um, and very petite. And, and I could have, if I wasn't in control of myself, that situation could have got worse than just these scratches on me. Um, all I did was grab a cup and get myself out there, make sure I'm on camera, make sure I'm seen, make sure her actions are seen, make sure that everything's going on is being seen. So again, when I talk about being in control of yourself, being in control of yourself, it's about knowing your triggers, knowing what is going to take you to the point of you can't work here anymore. You can't provide for your family anymore. You can't uh, provide the highest quality of care. So knowing your triggers, being in control of yourself. Um, and I learned this a long time ago, probably when I first started working, um, working in this field. The question was, yes, Y-E-S. Are we going to make it home safely? Yes. Can I control, can I handle this situation on my own? If the answer is not yes, then I need to call somebody. Uh, yes, we are making it home safely. Yes, I'm following protocol. Yes, I'm in the right time and space mentally. Yes, I'm here. Um, before you go hands-on with a person or you restrain a person um, or prevent them from hurting you or hurting themselves, um, the, your question should be, am I able to handle this situation? Am I able to verbally de-escalate this situation? Am I in here in the right moment to be able to move forward after this situation um and so the answer should be yes if the answer is not is not yes then you need to get someone else to take care of it you need to be able to tap out um you need to be able to have a, a co-worker or somebody you can say hey man i this is this is not my situation this is not me i can't do this i need you to help me so this is our first 
Again, I don't know what it's called, mental health with Marcus, mental health moments. Uh, but the thing about it is, it's about control. The first, our first day, we talked about being in control. Be in control of yourself. Leave all your problems at the door. Understand what your triggers are. Um, understand that you're dealing with people who are here for impulse control, behavior issues. Understand that. If you understand that everybody here is in a crisis, their crisis may not look like your crisis, but that'll help you get through your day, help you get through your shift. Um, so again, this is whatever we're going to call it. Next week, we'll call it whatever. Next time we do this, we'll do it. Y'all like and subscribe. Put the comment of what's the name going to be. Tell me a story. If y'all have any questions, definitely ask the question. Uh, and we'll keep rolling. Again, I'm Marcus. Thank y'all for coming. Like and subscribe.